Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm, you know, my sweater's falling go off, my hair sticking out of my headbands. If you really know what to do for that, please let me know because I'm like pulling and tugging at my head and it doesn't seem, nothing seems to work. Um, so I do have my hair in a headband today because I didn't want to fuss with my hair and I'm kind of tired. Um, and my hair is really long, so I don't have time to deal with that. So today's video is going to basically be talking about um, wisdom teeth extraction and my wisdom teeth um, surgery. And I'm starting with this. I have had plenty of surgeries. Um, this past summer I had surgery, summer 2018, and then summer um, June of 2017 I did have surgery as well. So it's two surgeries back to back. So today I'm going to be focusing on um, in 2017 when I had my wisdom teeth extracted. Hello, Stephanie. Get it together. Um, but besides my wisdom teeth, I have had quite a few surgeries. Um, but this is the one I think that's most popular. Like, more people are most likely to get their wisdom teeth extracted more than they would likely break a collarbone or one of the other ones that I've had. So today we'll be starting with this. So I'm going to give you some of my tips, kind of. Um, talk to you about the surgery, what to expect and about like the recovery and whatnot. So just a reminder, if you do see me pausing the video, it is because I'm uncomfortable, like my sweater's falling off, my headband's moving, um, so anyway, wisdom tooth extraction. So I had this in June 2017, I'm not really sure what day, um, I was really nervous about it. I don't, there's two doctors that I don't like dentist and the eye doctor I'm very like squirmy with anything with my eyes and I'm like just don't like the dentist um so I was really worried about it and the reason why I got it is because I was getting really bad headaches my mouth was getting really swollen my gums were bleeding I went to one dentist and he told me you know no you know this is normal and then I got an infection in my mouth and I started to feel like, oh, maybe this isn't normal, and maybe I should see a different doctor. So I went to somebody else, they did an x-ray, and he told me that I had no room in my mouth for my wisdom teeth. And when you don't have room in your mouth for your wisdom teeth, it can cause pain, swelling, all the things I was experiencing, because there's no room for the tooth to like break through the gum. Um, and when the tooth has nowhere to go, it's causing like friction inside, so... That's why I was getting my problems with um, my mouth. So I really like the doctor that I went to and he was very kind and everything. And he knew that I was nervous and he told me that you could either get put out with anesthesia or you could do it awake and they numb you. Um, I chose to be knocked out um, basically with all my surgeries because I don't want to know what's going on. Like I'll wake up after it's all done and completed. So. I went in and I have a really hard time with finding veins for blood work and stuff like that. So he did the thing through my hand and I like that because a lot of people poke me and stuff and then I end up having like seven band-aids on my arm. So he got my vein in my um, hand and overall it's good to have a doctor you just feel comfortable with. And then what happened is they put this thing over your mouth. I didn't know that they were going to put this thing over my mouth and I have really bad like anxiety and stuff so when he put the thing over my mouth I was freaking out and he's like you're going to be out before you even know it and you need this for the surgery so he's like don't touch it he's like just like watch the tv they had the tv on and I was out when I got up I have no recollection of what happened I don't remember walking to the recovery room. I didn't know who my dad was. I didn't remember getting home. I didn't remember anything. My mouth was really swollen. Um, the two top wasn't teeth where the gums are. I didn't have stitches. Now usually you get stitches in all four places that they take the tooth out of. My upper gum section, I don't even know the right term, is very small so they couldn't even stitch it. So that was just an open wound. And in the bottom um, gums, I had stitches. 
So what I had is gauze really stuffed up there and gauze really stuffed on the bottom. So my mouth was swollen, very bloody. Um, I'm going to be inserting pictures at the end of this video from what I could find from the surgery. And if you like squirmish and stuff, maybe don't look at the end of the video because it's very bloody. Um, so overall, you're not going to be able to really talk for a couple days and you can't eat any salads for I would say, they say for about a week. I would say more like a week and a half, it's gonna be hard to eat salads. So, during this time, I had to have like yogurt, warm soups, but I'm not somebody who really likes hot drinks or my soup really hot anyway. I kinda of like my soup and stuff. I have to fix my hair, hold on. All right, I'm sorry guys. So I'm not really somebody who likes like my soups and my like, coffee or anything hot. I like iced coffee. I like my soups and my teas for when I am sick, like warm. I don't like hot beverages or nothing like that. So I had to do like warm soup. I had to do yogurt. I had like milkshakes, ice cream. And um, I'm trying to think what else. Smoothies, um, soft foods. You should probably Google if you could have like rice or stuff because I don't know. Um, so I pretty stuck to like a liquid diet. You lose a lot of weight. And it's probably like why it was like my favorite surgery ever. Because you lose a lot of weight. Um, that was in 2017. So now, we're in 2019. So I don't look as flattering. But when I first had it done, it really like changes your cheekbones. And like the structure of your jaw and my face was really more sunken in and like really skinny and I really loved it but so anyway what am I talking about so anyway you have um, holes in your mouth basically if you're not able to have the stitches on top like I did and you have to rinse like not rinse but like move your head back and forth with salt water because you can't brush it for a couple days um, so you like move your thing back and forth and you shouldn't have any blood after 48 hours. If you have blood after 48 hours, you should probably call your doctor because you might have an infection. So I had antibiotics and stuff for that. I didn't take the pain medicine. I usually tend not to when I have surgeries. Um, just like a personal preference kind of a thing. And if I did feel pain, I would just probably take an Advil because I have a really high pain tolerance. Um, so there wasn't much pain for me. For me more, it was like uncomfortable. And I couldn't talk. I don't know if other people can talk, but I couldn't talk for a couple days. So I would write on like a board and have like, like text my mom or something if she was in another room or like bang on something. I wanted to say bang on something, but I didn't want to seem nuts. So pretty much, you can't eat for the week. Um, and overall, even though it's like a week and a week and a half recovery, you're still not going to be completely healed for a couple of months. And it took me a while for the bottom stitches to actually um, dissolve. They are dissolvable stitches. Um, and the top of my mouth kind of just felt like a hole for a while. Like I would like loop my tongue around and it was like a hole. Um, when you start getting back into brushing your teeth, you want to go gentle. You want to try to avoid any kind of alcohol mouthwashes. You could do um, salt water for a while after if you feel more comfortable with that. That's what I did. Now you shouldn't be eating any salads for about a week and a half. Me, I didn't listen and like I think six, five, six days in I had a sandwich. Now you don't want to do this and it's going to be really hard for you. You want to kind of easily go back into salads. I rushed into it by eating the sandwich and I didn't bleed it. Nothing happened but... It doesn't feel the same you have to get used to chewing again and it feels like funny like it's a really weird experience and when you go through it then you'll be able to know what I'm talking about but you kind of have to relearn how to eat in a way because you're not moving your jaw so much and um, one thing I did have to do is constantly change the gauze but after 48 hours I didn't have too much bleeding so then that kind of subsided um, I did have exercises to do after 48 hours where you kind of like open your mouth weird like like that because you don't want to have your jaw lock 
because you're not really talking, you're not eating, you're not moving your mouth. So that's why I had like exercises to do and all of that. But this seems like a little bit ranty, I'm sorry. I have time limits on my um, phone for recording. So I try to get everything in, all my information before the time limit. This one's 15 minutes. So the stitches remove, um, no, the stitches dissolve by themselves, sorry. And you don't really have much bleeding after 48 hours. Again, if you do, you should see a doctor. Um, might be infected. You want to swish your head kind of like this with salt water in your mouth and kind of like hit it all around your mouth because you can't go like that with your mouth yet. Um, no solids. I think that's basically it. Once you start getting back into eating and stuff gradually, then you'll be okay. But at first it is going to be weird. It's going to be like a little bit uncomfortable and hard to like move your teeth it's gonna be hard to smile Ooh. so you're not gonna be able to like smile for a while and it kind of might hurt you to stretch out your mouth like that so you don't want to do that while you have the surgery and then once you start getting back into like your everyday life hanging out with friends taking pictures you'll get back into like moving your mouth normally but it does take a couple months to heal overall even though within a week is usually the recovery limit um i'm trying to think of anything else you will swell a little bit in your mouth it took a couple days and it kind of went away i don't think there's really anything else this, the stitches dissolve on their own don't go picking at them and again don't go scrubbing with your toothbrush when you do start brushing your teeth again just like really gentle no alcohol mouthwash Try to avoid really hot or really cold foods directly after the surgery. But I think that's basically it. So I'm going to be showing you some pictures. Um, I might like add a video clip from when I had the surgery. Again, I was really swollen for the first 48 hours. So I'm going to add that at the end of this video. And maybe I'll add like a selfie um, from around that time to show you how the face kind of looked. But yeah, so that's it, and I hope these tips are kind of helpful for you. Oh, and you can't lay on your sides, so you have to lay, like, straight, propped up in your bed. You don't really want to turn onto your mouth right away. Give it the week or so, and then you could sleep on your side, because it might irritate it. It did for me. I think that's it. So bye, guys. Hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time.